Greetings everyone, P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to pick number 12 in my favorite power trio bands of all time. We've got 31 days in July. I've put together my list of my 31 favorite power trios, three musicians, creating lots of noise, really powerful. Could be any kind of instrumental configuration, right? Could be bass, drums, guitar, guitar, keyboards, drums, keyboards, bass, and drums, uh, violin, guitar, drums, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It could be the most obscure, the most ridiculous configuration. But the important thing is that you feel pretty strongly. You really like this trio of musicians, right? And some of these bands, some of these uh, that I'm that I've been mentioning, uh, maybe at some point in their career, they also deviated from the power trio format, added another member or two, right? That that has happened in quite a few cases here, but uh, for a period of time. Just the three really work some magic, right? So today, uh, this is a really cool band. This might be uh, a little obscure for some of you, but uh, a terrific power trio that probably, because they released these albums and they were kind of playing together in the mid-late 90s, probably fell quite under the radar, other than from like people who are into like serious like instrumental music, right? So I'm talking about Jonas Helborg, Sean Lane, and Jeff Sipe, known as just Jonas Helborn, Short Lane, and Jeff Sipe, although uh, Jeff commonly went uh, was known as uh, Apartment Q258 on some of these, for whatever reason. Uh, he, of course, played drums with uh, Bruce Hampton's Aquarium Rescue Unit, of course. Uh, Jonas Helborg has played with everybody on the jazz and fusion scene. He, he was in a ladder configuration of the Mahavishnu Orchestra. He's done some stuff with uh, John McLaughlin solo. He's played with Frank Gambali and uh, the Johansson brothers and uh, tons of other people. I mean, Hel Helborg has, has done some really, really good work. But these are some of the albums that they did together. Uh, and they've got some live recordings and things. And these are, let's see, we got uh, Persone is, what, 2002. Um, Temporal Analogs of Paradise was 1996. And Time is the Enemy was 1997. And they have, they have other, a couple other releases as well. But uh, these are absolutely spectacular. And this is more about kind of long form composition improvisation uh jamming and whatnot and it lets all three members really really shine if i if i could think um the best way to describe this music it, it really isn't but uh i would take like the the ferocity at times of like the original configuration of the tony williams lifetime and by the way, they're not on my list only because they only ever did one album together, and that was uh, Tony Williams, Larry Young, and John McLaughlin, uh, that very, very first album, Emergency. So take like the kind of like go for it all uh, mentality of that mixed with just, uh, if you're into Sean Lane at all, you know how he can just kind of solo into the stratosphere, but then you've got this really melodic sense from Helborg, uh, just a tremendous bass player and composer, and then you got, you know, Jeff Sight kind of holding it all in un together. I mean, like, you know, this album, for instance, <clears throat> Temporal Analogs of Paradise, absolutely terrific, and it's just got two, like, sidelong compositions. First movement and second movement, 31 and change, and 27 minutes and change, and it just goes off into all sorts of, you know, bizarre areas but if you love kind of long form improvisations man did these guys shine on here whereas i think uh this particular album persona is a little bit more structured more kind of song based definitely fusiony uh definitely kind of rock and avant-garde stuff and then you've got uh, you know time is the enemy it's kind of like a mix of the two you've got some longer tracks on here uh mixed with some shorter pieces and uh it's just uh you know 50 something minutes of really intense intense playing i think uh you know if you if you're into investigating the music and the career of sean lane yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of solo albums of his own. He only has a couple, right? But uh, I, I think if you really want to hear, like, Sean in an environment playing with two other guys where he can just kind of go for it and just not worry about what else is happening because he knows they're going to hold down the fort. He can go do his thing for a bit, come back, and then they go do their thing. That's kind of what these albums are all about. It's really, really amazing stuff. It's not for everybody. Not for everybody. But it's powerful. It's it's 
virtuoso every step of the way, loads of great solos, some cool melodies and little bits of things that you hear, you're like, oh, that's that's really intelligent stuff right there. Kind of like really like Thinking Man's Fusion right here, but also just for the folks who just love great jamming can't go wrong i think they also have a little mentality of like you know like early cream like cream when they play live would just do this sort of thing these long form improvisations that incorporated you know blues and jazz where here they're not really going much for the blues thing but it's definitely rock and fusion and some avant-garde style so uh, yeah i mean i can't highly recommend these albums enough a terrific terrific power trio that probably uh, is going to fall a little bit under the radar for most people who are uh, playing along with us here this month, but I think uh, if you're going to discover any new new bands that you should check out, definitely give these guys a try. Definitely different. All instrumental, right? So just lots of guitar, bass, and drums. That's what it's all about. So and sometimes that is the best, right? Guitar, bass, and drums. Keep it simple, right? Don't need to overthink it. So uh, that's my pick for today. Jonas Helborg, Sean Lane, and Jeff Sipe. Let us know if you've listened to these guys. Let us know what you think of them. If you haven't, go check them out. Come back and report to us, but also make sure you give us your pick today. Pick number 12 here on our countdown for our favorite 31 power trios. Tomorrow, we're going to do it again. Number 11, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. See you tomorrow with more stuff. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content. We also have the links below to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page or we can get all sorts of cool uh, Sea Tranquility stuff. So thanks for watching, everybody. I am P. Partle. We'll see you real soon here tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact, for another of my favorite power trios of all time. Till then, see you soon. Bye-bye.